In the modern military world, giant aircraft carriers are often seen as symbols of unmatched power. But what if a militia group like the Houthis in Yemen managed to sink such a massive ship? Imagine a vessel 300 meters long, weighing over 100,000 tons, equipped with advanced defense systems and dozens of fighter jets, suddenly sinking in the middle of the ocean. This is not a science fiction scenario, but a possibility that could occur if the right strategy is applied. The Houthis, known for their expertise in using ballistic missiles and drones, have demonstrated that they can challenge major military powers with unconventional tactics. How could they do it? The answer lies in a combination of ingenuity, technological knowledge, and the use of the right weapons. Here, we explore five simple yet devastating tactics that could make this nightmare scenario a reality. Drone swarms, the silent killers. One of the most effective ways to target an aircraft carrier is through the use of drone swarms. Drones are small, inexpensive, and difficult to detect, especially when launched in large numbers. A swarm of drones, each armed with explosives, could overwhelm the carrier's defense systems, while the carrier's radar and anti-missile systems are designed to handle large, high-speed threats. They struggle to track and neutralize dozens or even hundreds of small, fast-moving drones simultaneously. The Houthis have already proven their capability in this area, using drones to target Saudi oil facilities and military bases. By adapting this tactic, they could launch a coordinated drone attack on an aircraft carrier. The drones could target critical areas such as the flight deck, radar systems, or propulsion units, causing significant damage and potentially disabling the ship. The beauty of this tactic lies in its simplicity and affordability. Drones are widely available and can be deployed with minimal resources. Two, ballistic missiles, precision strikes from afar. Ballistic missiles are another powerful tool in the Houthis' arsenal. These missiles travel at high speeds and can carry large payloads, making them a serious threat to even the most heavily armored targets. While aircraft carriers are equipped with advanced missile defense systems, a coordinated attack involving multiple ballistic missiles could overwhelm these defenses. The Houthis have demonstrated their ability to launch ballistic missiles in previous conflicts, often with surprising accuracy. With support from external allies like Iran, they could enhance the range and precision of their missile systems. A successful strike on an aircraft carrier's hull or flight deck could cause catastrophic damage, potentially sinking the ship or rendering it inoperable. The key to this tactic is timing and coordination, launching multiple missiles simultaneously to maximize the chances of a successful hit. Three, naval mines, hidden threats, beneath the waves. Naval mines are one of the oldest and most effective weapons in naval warfare. These underwater explosives are relatively inexpensive, but can cause devastating damage to large ships. The Houthis could deploy naval mines in strategic locations, such as narrow straits or busy shipping lanes, where an aircraft carrier is likely to pass. When the carrier sails over a mine, the resulting explosion could breach the hull, causing flooding and potentially sinking the ship. Naval mines are particularly difficult to detect, especially in deep or turbulent waters, making them a highly effective weapon for asymmetric warfare. The Houthis could use small boats or submarines to place these mines in key locations, creating a deadly trap for the unsuspecting carrier. Electronic warfare, disabling the carrier's nervous system. Modern aircraft carriers rely heavily on advanced communication and navigation systems to coordinate their operations. By disrupting these systems, the Houthis could effectively blind and deafen the carrier, rendering it vulnerable to attack. Electronic warfare involves the use of electromagnetic signals to jam or interfere with the carrier's radar, communication, and navigation systems. 
the Houthis could deploy specialized electronic warfare equipment to create confusion and disarray among the carrier's crew. Without reliable communication and navigation, the carrier would struggle to coordinate its defenses or respond to threats effectively. In addition to jamming signals, the Houthis could use cyber warfare to infiltrate the carrier's computer systems, potentially gaining control over critical functions or disabling key systems. This tactic highlights the growing importance of electronic and cyber warfare in modern conflicts. Five, psychological warfare, breaking the crew's morale. Psychological warfare is a powerful tool that can be used to weaken the resolve of an enemy. By spreading fear and uncertainty, the Houthis could undermine the morale of the carrier's crew, reducing their effectiveness in responding to threats. This could be achieved through propaganda, misinformation, or even direct threats. For example, the Houthis could use social media or radio broadcasts to highlight the carrier's vulnerabilities and the possibility of an impending attack. They could also release videos or statements claiming to have infiltrated the carrier's systems or to have planted explosives on board. Even if these claims are false, they could create a sense of paranoia and distrust among the crew, making it harder for them to focus on their duties. Psychological warfare is particularly effective in asymmetric conflicts, where smaller forces seek to exploit the psychological vulnerabilities of their adversaries. By sowing doubt and fear, the Houthis could weaken the carrier's operational effectiveness without firing a single shot. The sinking of a U.S. aircraft carrier would have profound and far-reaching consequences, both militarily and politically. For a group like the Houthis, achieving such a feat would be a monumental victory, showcasing their ability to challenge a global superpower and inspiring other groups to adopt similar tactics. It would also serve as a stark reminder that even the most advanced military assets are not invincible if the right strategies are employed. For the United States, the loss of an aircraft carrier would be a devastating blow, both in terms of military capability and national pride. Aircraft carriers are not just symbols of American power, but also critical components of its global military strategy. The sinking of a carrier would compel the U.S. to rethink its approach to naval warfare, potentially leading to increased investment in defense systems and new strategies to counter asymmetric threats. Moreover, such an event could escalate tensions in the region, drawing other nations into the conflict and potentially sparking a wider war. The international community would likely respond with condemnation and sanctions, further isolating the Houthis and their allies. However, the Houthis might view these consequences as a necessary cost for achieving their strategic objectives. The hypothetical scenario of the Houthis sinking an aircraft carrier underscores the importance of adaptability and innovation in modern warfare. While traditional military powers rely on advanced technology and overwhelming firepower, smaller groups like the Houthis have shown that creativity and resourcefulness can level the playing field. This case study offers several key lessons. No system is invincible, asymmetric warfare is here to stay, technology is a double-edged sword, psychological factors matter, and geopolitical consequences are unpredictable. Ultimately, the key to preventing such a scenario lies in understanding the changing dynamics of modern warfare and developing strategies that address both traditional and emerging threats. By staying ahead of the curve and embracing innovation, military forces can ensure that they remain prepared for the challenges of the 21st century. The story of the Houthis and the aircraft carrier is not just a cautionary tale, but a call to action for those who seek to defend against the unpredictable and ever-evolving nature of conflict.